with the clock ticking, Fogg left London, England with his assistant, Passepartout. Passepartout was a fantastic gymnast, just like Kyan. Awesome! I like this story already. So what happened next? Phileas and Passepartout took a steam train through Europe, then a boat to Egypt and the Suez Canal, a special waterway built to link two seas together. What did I tell you, Passepartout? Train plus boat equals London to Egypt in exactly seven days. You aced it, Mr. Fogg. And the Suez Canal will save us a long trip around Africa. Two tickets for the next boat coming right up. Excuse me, Ace Detective Inspector Fix coming through. I'm on the trail of a thief who robbed the Bank of England. Mm -mm. Oh. <sighs> Have you seen this man? Well, he looks a little like my friend Phileas Fogg, but he's no bank robber. Sorry, I have to go. <laughs> well, close enough. Inspector Fix always gets his man. Cripples, they're getting away! Quickly, I need a boat! Follow that robber! Phileas Fogg wasn't a bank robber, was he? No, but brave Inspector Fix thought he was, and he followed him all the way from Egypt to India. Phileas planned to take a train right across the country, but the railway wasn't finished. They were stuck deep in the jungle. No cars, no planes, and now no train either. What did they do? They went by elephant. Elephant? But they're beautiful wild animals. You can't ride them. People did in those days. Elephants carried supplies and people too. <sighs> Thank you. We really need this ride. We're happy to help. Come on, Trunkster. Let's go. <laughs> Extinct! Extinct! Whoa! Kyan, what's up? I can't believe the dodo is extinct. There are none left in the world at all. Not even one. Hey, what's all the noise, Go Jetters? The dodo is extinct, and we never got to see one. It's sad news, Go Jetters, and more animals could become extinct too. Huh? <gasps> There are lots of different animals around the world that need help to survive because there are hardly any of them left. The Sumatran tiger, the giant panda, the mountain gorilla, the North Atlantic right whale. So many different animals. Uh, but why? Hmm. Mostly it's because where they live becomes damaged or changed so much that it's hard for them to survive. Uh. But there are people who work really hard to look after animals and their environment, like the conservationists in the pristine forests of Sao Paulo, Brazil. What animal are they helping? The black lion tamarind. We can pay them a visit. Then you can all see what's being done to stop the black lion tamarind from becoming extinct. Yeah! yeah. Did you hear that, Grimbots? Black lions that need our help! Oh, why do I always have to explain everything? I, the Great Grandmaster Glitch, will save these black lion thingies. Well, don't you stand there. Take me to the pristine forest of Sao Paulo. <laughs> what does pristine mean? Well, uh, pristine means... Oh, yes, right. <clears throat> pristine means clean. Ugh, that sounds terrible. Well, oh, well, nobody said being a lion saver would be easy. To Sao Paulo! Grimots, let's go! Oh, you found it! Did I? This looks just like the plant from Grim HQ. Oh, no! What is it? It's a type of coral vine. A fast-growing super weed. <gasps> I think Ubercorn needs to hear about this. <laughs> Whoa! new Geoforce Focus Beam is cool. <laughs> Just like this ice lolly. <laughs> hey, Ubercorn, we could have a weedy, uh, I mean, really big problem. That's the same plant that was stuck in Grim HQ's chimney. Exactly. But it doesn't belong on the Academy Island. It's a super weed. And if it spreads, it could be a big problem. Um, I planted one in my garden for research. 
Go-Jetters, I think you need some funky facts. Hit it! Funky facts, funky facts. The Academy is where it's at. It's Some types of plants grow so quickly, they can double in size in a day. When fast-growing plants grow in a place they're not supposed to, they're called super weeds. Super weeds are often accidentally brought to places they shouldn't be by people, animals, or vehicles like Grim HQ. Once they start growing, they're really hard to get rid of. Superweeds take over gardens and farms, and that's a big problem. They completely cover and destroy the plants and crops that live there. Even buildings can be damaged by them. Oh, no! But it's just in Tala's garden, right? Yeah, just one little plant. Surely we can handle it. Um, I did add a few drops of super-strength plant food. And I may have spilt some, too. Uh-oh. Go, Jetters, get yourselves over to that garden fast. You too, Tala. On our way! Whoa! I don't like the look of those clouds. Uh, go! Let's get to safety indoors. Come on, cadets. Everything's checked, Ubercorn. The wind farm's okay. Whoa. Great work, Lars. Now we'd better get to safety, too. And then, Gladstone Glitch the Third drove into certain danger. <gasps> Brave and fearless, he was just like me. <laughs> oh, Grimbles! I don't like the dark. Or oh, thunder, or oh, lightning. Ubercorn, what happened to the lights? Ubercorn! Comms are down! <laughs> the storm's getting worse. I hope Zuli and Foz are okay. <gasps> and Tala! She's with them! <laughs> we better check on them. Time to be brave, just like great uncle. <laughs> to the truckster! <laughs> the doors aren't working. <laughs> I noticed. <laughs> Lars, nothing's working. Not even the doors. I need to fix the wind turbine controls to get the power back. <laughs> Wait! We can't go out in the kayaks. We need to find shelter. We need click-ons. Huh? Ubercorn? What's going on? <laughs> and go! No, you can't have a balloon. <laughs> Look here! I want a nice, quiet beach. Sorry, Glitch. We need more information from the weather-predicting balloons. And boy. Yeah, for our next weather report. Weather-predicting, you say? Hmm. Greenbots. <laughs> Listen up. I need you to trick those weather-predicting thingies into making it look like there's a big rainstorm coming. That should empty the beach pronto. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Make the boy report that the sea is really choppy. Well done, Grimbot. That balloon will tell those no jetters it's going to get really stormy. Whoa, these results are off the charts. Uh-oh. Oh, dear me. That doesn't look good. I wonder what it could mean. Hmm. It looks like there's going to be a big change in the weather. We should take a closer look at this. No time for that. I'll tell you what, I'll read the weather. Action! <laughs> 
Now, welcome to this afternoon's special weather report with me, Grand Weather Reporter Glitch. And oh, dearie me! Look out, everyone! There's an absolutely huge storm on the way! Find your biggest coats, stay safe inside, and most importantly, keep away from the beach! It's going to be very windy, very wet, and very, very dangerous! Yay! <laughs> 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 Work, Creepbots. Now, I need someone to fetch me an ice cream. 